Hello everyone, so today I have an HP laptop which is starting but there is nothing on the screen. So from my experience, most of the case scenarios it's an issue with the RAM itself. But I'm not sure, so let's try to find this out. So what happened basically, if I start the laptop, I can see the power on LED is on, but there is nothing on the screen completely. And I can hear the fans are spinning as well. Well, from my experience, most case scenario, it's an issue with the RAM itself. So what I will try to do, I will try to dismantle this one, basically just remove the bottom cover and replace the RAM with a good known working. And yeah, let's see how it goes. So let's turn this one off. Okay, we have the bottom cover out. I'm always checking if there are no liquid marks or corrosions first, which might indicate that there is a problem because of liquid damage. So, all here seems to be fine. I can't see any corrosions unless from this side. So first I'm gonna disconnect the battery. And as always, I'm taking the drive, if it's possible, just to keep the data secure. Okay, so let's try to swap the memory. Let's take the existing one and let's put another one which is 100% working. Okay, let's fit back the battery. Let's secure it with one screw. Now, give some juice and let's try again. The light is on, but there is nothing on the screen. So it is not a RAM issue. Well, when I'm saying not a RAM issue, it's not the actual RAM module issue. Okay, as you can see here, the fan is spinning, so the board is starting up, but something is missing and it's not allowing it to start. So from my experience, HP has problems with their memory terminal itself. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna check this terminal under the microscope to make sure that all the pins are soldered. Okay, so let's check RAM terminal under the microscope. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to see if there are any loose pins that we can move. Okay, so... Well, this is our memory terminal here, yeah? Let's see if any of the pins are moving. We're gonna check one by one. Well, they all seems to be... Seems to be fine. So far, so good. You can see, you see, they're putting s not much solder on the pins itself. Okay. Hmm. So far, so good. Okay. So 
So all the pins seems to be fine. But don't forget we have another line of the pins on the other side. So let's check other row as well. Oh, there's this. I can see a crack. Look, this one is moving. You see? You see? This one's look. This one's loose. This one's still. Okay, so the first one and the second one are loose. Let's check the others. Damage B. Damage B. This is not the first HP laptop having exactly the same problem just on different pins. Okay, we will, we will be okay. We'll be find more loose pins. We have to check each one pin to make sure we don't miss any you show me that okay so from what I can see there are two pins which are not soldered properly and the pins are this one and this one. It is this one and this one. So what I'm going to do now, I will try to touch with my soldering iron and see if this is going to resolve the problem. clean the area let's double check that it's properly soldered stays like it should stay okay so now I'm gonna fit the memory 
fit the battery and try to lift this up. Okay, I will grab the memory which was inside. Let's fit the battery. Good. And let's do a test. Okay, the light switched off, so this is some change because before that it wasn't doing this, it was staying always on. We are still waiting. So this done some change because It wasn't switching off, now it's switched off. Hey, look. You see? It's starting up. So the problem was with the actual RAM terminal. And this is a well-known problem with HP laptops. So if you're facing similar issues, when it's trying to start, when it's on, but there's nothing on the screen, most case scenario gonna be the memory. The second one, always check the pins for the actual RAM terminal because this is what happened in this case. So, thank you for watching another one fixed laptop.